This section will provide a short introduction to some of the most common slinging operations. Safety precautions regarding personnel transfer by basket. Risk assessment of lifting operations. Hand signals used during lifting operations. There are many different aspects of a lifting operation that must be considered before start of the operation. One of the most important is how to sling the load. What type of gear to use and how to attach the gear. In this section, we will have a look at a few of the most common slinging operations. This is a very common task on board a ship or offshore installation. Lifting of several pipes, rods, etc. in one lift can be dangerous if it is not done in a safe manner. One typical and very dangerous mistake is to lift tubulars of different diameters or even tubulars together with, for example, steel bars in one lift. In such cases, there is a great risk that the smaller items may slip out. Try to follow these basic guidelines when lifting tubulars at your workplace. Always Position the slings approximately 25% from each end of the items to be lifted, if possible. Wrap the sling double around the tubulars in a choke hitch and tighten choke. Land the lift and release the slings carefully as individual tubes may roll. Never sling tubes of different diameter or tubes together with steel bar or other items in the same lift. Tighten the choke by hammering. Warning. Choking of slings reduces the strength of the sling. Thus, each sling should have an SWL equal to the total weight of the lift or more, even if a two-legged sling is used. When slinging cable reels, 
Care must be taken not to damage the cable. Use of soft fibre slings is preferable, but if wire slings have to be used, wire cables should be protected by timber packing or similar. Electrical cables should be slung through the real opening in all cases. Some of these cables are very sensitive and the slightest deformation may make them unusable. The preferred method of slinging drums is to use two fibre slings, but cargo net or drum slings may also be used. Extreme caution must be exercised when using drum slings, as they tend to slip off immediately when the load upon the slings is released. These slings must only be used for internal transfer, on board or on the rig. Even though there are relatively few documented accidents from basket transfer of personnel, it is considered a high-risk operation due to the potentially fatal consequences an accident may have. Thus, such operations must be carried out with the utmost care and be well prepared. The following safety precautions are a recommended minimum. The transfer must be approved by the master OIM of the ship or installation. There must be good visibility, adequate illumination and weather conditions permitting a safe transfer. The crane operator must have ample experience and be confident in his ability to carry out the transfer in a safe manner. Prior to the transfer, person responsible for the transfer should examine the basket. Before starting, the lift-off and the landing areas must be cleared in an adequate area for the basket to be lifted and landed safely. There must be direct radio contact between the responsible person on deck, the crane operator and the master of the supply vessel. During the transfer, a rescue boat or standby boat should be ready for immediate action in case of a man overboard situation arising. If none of the passengers being transferred has been transferred by basket previously, 
then a person who is well familiar with such transfer should accompany them. During transfer, the passengers shall stand on the ring outside the ropes and have both hands free to grip the ropes. The passengers must wear life jackets or life-saving suits during the transfer. Small amounts of luggage can be permitted on the basket if placed in the middle. But it is preferable to transfer the luggage in a separate transfer without passengers. Lifting and lowering of the basket shall take place over open water. And the vessel shall be prepared to stop the propellers during the transfer. Personnel transfer with baskets shall be recorded, together with prevailing weather conditions, in the appropriate log or record. Your ship or installation is likely to have its own procedures for personnel transfer by basket. In such cases, these procedures will of course take precedence and must be followed. In order to minimise risk and improve awareness and efficiency during a lifting operation, a risk assessment of the operation should be done before start. The following checklists can be used as a tool in order to carry out such an assessment. They are divided into three separate checklists as follows. Routine lifts. Simple lifts, complicated lifts, here is an example of a routine lifts checklist. Here is an example of simple lifts checklist. Here is an example of complicated lifts checklist.